It's safe to say that the Buff Bunny new bray is my new bay. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got some Buff Bunny. Buff Bunny just launched their new Nubre collection. So Buff Bunny is actually not foreign to this channel. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I have talked about them, done reviews before. I'm actually wearing them right now. This is an older collection from last year. I got nothing but good things to say from what I remember. Haven't purchased from them in a while, but with the new Nubre that came out, there was so much hype behind this collection that I just had to get my hands on it. I have been getting a ton of requests for Buff Bunny, like up, down, left, and right. Like you guys are asking for this. So uh, I hope that this review is helpful to you. So if you guys are active wear addicts like myself, then definitely consider subscribing to this channel because it's like all we talk about. Follow me on these socials right here so you don't miss a thing. But really quick before we get into this video, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Just CBD. So I've been partnered with them for well over a year now. I'm obsessed with their products. It is quality CBD. They they have everything from gummy varieties, vegan products, pet products, oils, vapes, you name it, they have you covered. Today I just wanted to share with you real quick about their sugar-free gummies. I just love the fact that they're sugar-free. <laughs> they don't lack in taste at all and they're just a healthier overall option. If you're somebody like me, I try to go a little bit lower sugar. Too much sugar makes me break out, so Just CBD got you covered with those sugar-free gummies. I only take a couple throughout the day if I need it. Even before bed, they help me sleep a lot better. And especially right now, if you guys saw my stories, yeah, I'm getting married in two weeks from now, like two freaking weeks, so I'm extra stressed. Look at my face right now, I'm really stressed. They're made with no MSG, they're gluten-free, fat-free, dairy-free, and of course, obviously, sugar-free. So, if you are interested, I will have them linked down below. Feel free to use my code Ashley at checkout and you will save 20% off your entire order. Thank you again to Just CBD for sponsoring this portion of today's video. All right, guys, so this is the haul that we're looking at. Everything you see, is in a size small. So let's sift through what we got and then we're gonna go ahead and try them on. I haven't tried anything on yet, okay? First impressions, that's done in front of y'all. I do have to note that their sizing is awesome. I believe it's a double XS to a triple XL, so major props to them right off the bat. So the Nubre collection is called the Nubre collection because of the Nubre fabric. I'm gonna read exactly what's on the tag in reference to the Nubre fabric. It is incredibly creamy and so soft. It will fit you like a dream. We designed it with enough support to keep up with your workouts while maintaining its fit. So it's creamy and soft. Right off the bat, yes it is. So it doesn't have that slippery feel where it's like gonna slip down your bum. This is definitely gonna be comfortable. All right, so we have the Revolution sports bra in the color Grounded Dark Olive. I obviously wanted to try this because I feel like square necks are now making a big comeback. Do you notice that every brand's coming out with that square neck in the front? I personally like it. I think it makes the girls look nice. And I especially had to get it because of this backing. We do have bra pads, awesome. This one is not adjustable, even though you do have a really nice center ring that kind of brings everything together, but this is not in any way adjustable. So to go with this bra, I have the Rosa pocket legging in quarry gray. Looking like we got pockets on the side, obviously. Rosa pocket, nice V seam in the back, zero front seam, you know I favor that. Nice high waisted, no seam up on the band here, the ones that dig. Overall, pretty straightforward, nothing cray. You got the signature Buff Bunny printed logo. Overall, pretty straightforward pair of leggings. I also got a pair of the Monarch leggings in Secret Garden Dark Teal. Oh, that's pretty long, Secret Garden. Shh. Wonder what's the secret? Like, what am I gonna find here? Anything? Nothing secretive here, except, damn! I love the band in the front. Actually, this is what stood out to me, is that crisscross patty whack. You got a nice little V look up in the front. I really think the seams on the back are kind of cool too. You got like three sprouting out on each side. Adds a nice contouring on the upper booty. To match, I have the Rosa sports bra in the same Secret Garden dark teal color. I'm sorry, but this dark teal is freaking beautiful. It's like a dark bluish green. Ooh, it's very secretive. <laughs> I think the backing is really something else. Like, I don't even know what to make of it until I try it on. I'm kind of like, what's going on? Oh, never mind. There it is. <laughs> 
<laughs> I thought it was like this. No, it's just a crisscross back. I also have an Aurora Nubre crop in the color Onyx Black Bossy Print. Damn, these are long names. So this is just a basic throw over crop. There's no support or anything, no bra pads, nothing like this. Just a basic crop to throw over your set. This bossy print, my dears, is what caught my eye the most out of all of this collection. Okay, in the same exact print, we have the Legacy leggings. Wanted to get a whole full matching set here. This is giving me Dalmatian just feels. Don't you feel that? <laughs> like 101 Dalmatians maybe. These are so similar to the Monarch leggings in terms of the back seams going like sprouting out, the three seams on each side. There's no pockets on this one. It's very straightforward. Uh, I don't think you really need much for this legging because the print alone is just the standout part of this entire set. You know I had to grab the Geo bodysuit. Am I right? If there's a bodysuit or a onesie available, I always opt to get it. This is in the color Vineyard Dark Red. How rich are you? This is beautiful, like a dark glass of Cabernet, maybe? That's my favorite red wine. The backing, though, <laughs> this is where it's at. That back is completely open. That is freaking sexy. That's a sexy bodysuit. I love the zippered front as well, okay? If you wanna show a little cleavage, maybe, I don't know. See how it fits. My only concern, though, as beautiful as this backing is, is when you have a wide open back, especially right in the center there, it might not be as form fitting where I prefer it to be form fitted. So I don't know if it's just gonna kind of be some let up, little room, a little unevenness, a little shifting. So, mm, I don't know, we're gonna see. Okay, so we have a Monarch sports bra in that dark vineyard red bossy print. Had to get one of these again, like I said, this is a different, believe it or not, I know they all look very similar, but this is actually a different look to it. I think these straps are stunning. They look like roots, like they're growing out of a tree, like underneath the tree. <laughs> I'm actually really liking the way this dark vineyard red looks with that white speckle bossy print better than the black and white. This is, this is, I'm favoring this color. You have a very slight V front, but it's coming up high enough where I don't think this is gonna be too low cut. Oh my God, this is so bittersweet right now. I am obsessed with this fit. Like, I'm obsessed with how this bodysuit feels. I feel like this is one of the most comfortable bodysuits I've ever worn. Nothing's digging in weird places. There's no camel toe, even though I'm not wearing underwear right now. It's just, it's working for me. But what I can't get past is like, you know what I mean? Like, I kind of anticipated this. <laughs> it just isn't working, this open back. It's giving me little baby wings over here when my arms are down yeah <laughs> it's a shame because the backing is really something else it is so beautiful but it's just the fit it's just a little awkward and i don't even think sizing down would help like i personally wouldn't want to size down in this this is so freaking comfortable that anything tighter like no thanks like this is my comfort zone right now but let me tell you this is the first time ever putting this new braid fabric on my body and now i can see what the hype was about this is comfortable, dude. So it is fully squat proof if you're wondering, like if you wanna wear it to the gym or whatever. It does roll up a little bit though. Yeah, just a tad, it's rolling up a bit. I am not wearing a bra and I get it, like there's no inserts or anything because they wanna give it overall smooth body fit. And I think that pads would just kind of make it look a little funky. But keep in mind, like there's nothing here, so. You might want to wear like a cardigan. <laughs> but if I'm being perfectly honest, like I always am, then I gotta tell you guys, this baby's gonna go back, unfortunately. It's $62. Normally I'd say, all right, for a bodysuit, but okay. So straight up, when putting this on my body, I'm getting the feeling I got last year when I bought from them, where I put it on and I go just, wow. It's really, really flattering stuff. Really good quality. Do not get it twisted. I don't mind seams on activewear as long as they're not like right here digging up. Other than that, if made right, I feel like it could really accentuate curves and kind of complement a figure. For example, like when I put these on, damn, like this just highlights my bum really nice. The seams are put in a place where it actually makes my glutes look juicier than they actually are. <laughs> That's just what I think. I'm obsessed at the fact that there's zero camel toe going on right here. Especially with this kind of fabric, I anticipated maybe something going on there, 
but everything seems to be working where it counts. Maybe the crop top is really nice, form-fitted, but yet stretchy. There's a really nice amount of stretch going on here, and the creamy nude gray fabric kind of feels almost somewhat insulating. Like, if you were in the dead of heat underneath the sun, I might just be like, a little bit. But at the same time, it is made of nylon and spandex, so I do know that nylon wicks fairly well. So I think you should be okay when actually exerting and sweating in this. Especially in these darker colors in this collection, and specifically this bossy print, I don't think you're gonna have any issues with seeing much sweat. The crop is really, really nice, comes down all the way over my torso. But then again, I have a short torso. This active crop just stays put. It is not moving, it's not loose in front, it's not moving all over the place. It's staying really nice and, and kind of glued up to my body without it being uncomfortable. My size small, perfect. I would not size up or down in this entire set. Even squatting, I'm not feeling any gait. Overall, everything's just laying really nicely over my body. You can feel it just kind of saran wrapping you a little bit. So with that being said, I would give it an overall moderate compression. I do have the vineyard red pattern underneath. So let me take it off, show you guys what it looks like. There's a really nice support in here. This doesn't go down too low. Ooh, it's a really nice cut right here. It's not too much, not over the top, but it's a little bit sexy in your face. The curvature here goes a bit in and then out again. You look slight, but it's there. Uh, this backing is unbelievable. You looking at this? Almost like butterfly wings just spreading out. Very dainty and sophisticated. There's so much attention to detail with these bras that it's unbelievable. The support is there. It's holding me nice and tight. Not moving around. Back extensions, no problem. Look. <laughs> and the band here, it's material that just lays over, but this seam here is offering you a decent amount of support. So, even though there's no crazy thick elastic band, there's still a nice amount of support holding your girls up. P.S. My measurements are down below in case you need them for reference. Okay, so I threw on the quarry gray leggings. I have to say how much I appreciate a brand that knows how to put the seams up high enough to make the glutes look larger. <laughs> we have the nice pockets on the side here. And again, no camel toe going on. They're very, very consistent. Obviously, those are the same leggings, just slightly different seams, slightly different patterns and things like that. Whereas the black bossy leggings had that ultra glovey fit, these do too, but I feel like there's ever so slightly a little more let up, and I don't know if it's because of it, the dye. Like, the black seems to be slightly more tighter, but this almost feels like there's just a little bit more wiggle room in the light pair. This is the lightest pair in the group, and it's looking like it's 100% squat proof as well. So the Revolution bra is working for me. I can feel a little more support on the side boobie area, whereas the other bra had a little bit of room up top, but this one's very much just right up the sides. There's no side boobs going on. Obsessed with the square neck. I think this is my new favorite look in activewear as of lately. It is just such a beautiful cleavage type of but good support bra. And the backing, well, I think you know all about this intricate spider web look. <laughs> nice moderate support. Again, no adjustments whatsoever. I prefer no adjustments, believe it or not. Okay, so the Rosa sports bra and the Monarch leggings, both in the dark teal. So my first impression is, let's start with the leggings, shall we? I like the idea of the V front. They fit pretty nicely. I do actually really prefer the look of triple seams up top. I think it gives that extra oomph to the glutes rather than just the one singular seam. I do love that they create these sets with that interlocked, very flat lying seam so that it's not digging in. I feel zero digs right now. I feel like, I feel like I'm not even wearing seams on the leggings. So that's always a plus for me. I don't want to feel the seams. So like I thought, the dark teal is squat proof. I feel like I would wear the other sets to the gym. This one, not so much, just because I feel like this band isn't as supportive as the other ones. I do feel like this is a lighter support overall than the other ones. With that being said, I feel like I could have gotten away with sizing down the knees. I just feel like the more I'm moving around, 
the more I kind of feel a little bit of a let up, not gonna lie. Whereas the first pair, totally true to size. Second pair, I could have gotten away with sizing down. This third pair, I think I could have gotten away with sizing down. Like if you're in between sizes, then maybe size down. These sports bra definitely has what I feel like more support than the other ones. There's a lot more coverage as well. So if you're looking for your toddies to pop, maybe try out the other ones. This one, a little more conservative. You also have a lot more of a simpler design on the back here. Two thick straps crisscrossing over. They kind of break up like this, but overall when they lie, they just look like two big thick straps. So I do think that it's true to size up top for the most part. All right guys, so that concludes the Buff Bunny New Bray review. What are your thoughts? Comment down below. So overall, I would say creamy is the perfect word for the texture of this collection. I think they did a really outstanding job. I personally favor the bossy print over anything. I think it is so flattering. I love the tri seam. <laughs> I love pretty much all of the sports bras. I think they all had such a gorgeous, unique look to them. The strappy action is my go-to. You know how I do. So guys, let me know if you would like to see more Buff Bunny reviews in the future. I'm all for it if you are. Definitely do not forget to subscribe. We have fun videos, new Gymshark camo, Apex, Pulse coming, and I just ordered this morning the new Alpha Lee Alpha Lux. Oh, how, did, how could I not? Really though, how, how the freak can I not? Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.